Damn. What's up everyone, my name is Chris Barnard and I'm here to tell you that hugs are drugs. Are you listening? Damn. Brilliant, so allow me to explain and this is going to get super technical so you got to pay attention. Some scientific research was done. All right now, hugs are drugs, and this is why. When you get a hug, it releases a pleasure hormone called dopamine, which is also associated with using substances like crack, cocaine, or meth, right? And when you're scared, now this is what happens, right? When you're scared, someone comes and gives you a hug, the fear leaves. Even hugging a teddy bear makes the fear go away, see hugs. Them is powerful drug. I'm telling you right now. All right? Okay. There ain't nothing on this page, and I don't really think hugs are drugs. So I'm gonna drop that right now. Hugs aren't drugs, but they do make you feel good, right? When someone hugs you, generally they. Give me a second. What up? When someone gives you a hug, Generally, it makes you feel better. It makes you feel happy. It makes you feel comforted. Now, I actually just want to tell you a story around hugs. Um, it happened a couple of weeks ago when I was in a skate shop, right, called Board Hub. And there's this guy who works there, Rich, Richard, Richie Rich. And um, he's a super cool guy. And he's a salesperson, right? Now, I was there a couple of months ago looking for a longboard. He was really kind to me, helping me out to this and that. And um, when I went back there now, two or three months later, I'm kind of like, hey, bro, how's it going? That kind of chilled. I was with a friend who was looking for something, so they were busy. But when we left, um, Richard just, the general, like, how do you do? He, like, cheers, bro, pulled me in, um, and then gave me, like, a little grab around the back. But instead of just, like, oh, cheers, boom, and then leaving, he just held on to me, like, for one or two seconds, and, and he was just like, I hope you're doing well, bro. And the, the thought is that Richard genuinely cared. He was a salesperson who actually, it's his job to just sell me things, to make the customer happy. But he genuinely cared. He showed that through physical touch. And I took that as a personal challenge to go out and try and make people around me feel loved, feel cared for. You're not out here to change the world. You might just brighten up someone's day. And, and Richard doesn't know this. Maybe I should tag him in the video so that he does know. But Richard doesn't know this right now, but that made like my whole week and it was just a hug. Now for you that might be helping someone with a practical problem, it might be just looking up and smiling at someone when they walk by you, right? So I guess what I'm trying to say is it doesn't take that much <laughs> of us to give someone a hug, to smile at someone, to help someone in a kind way, right? To really care, but it might make a world's difference. To them. So if you're a hug person and you like me, you're like, let's all give hugs to everyone. <laughs> That's our way of spreading love. Share this message. If you're not a hug person, I want to encourage you. Smile at someone, <laughs> right? Help them practically, give them something. These are all love languages, but I want to challenge you with that. And then if you haven't subscribed or checked out my YouTube channel, I'm on there as well. A new video every week. Um, and then I just want to say thank you. So this is new to me. Um, everyone who's watched, comment, like, supported, subscribe, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I love doing this and just seeing that people appreciate it and enjoy it. Um, just makes it all the more fun in actual fact. Damn. Hope you guys have a liquor day, night, whenever you're watching this. Cheers. Yeah. Almost forgot. Eww.